Our final Top Tech Award for the evening honors another business leader from the Plymouth area, but recognizes him for his efforts in all of Sheboygan County. Louis Gentine of Sargento Foods is a strong advocate for career and technical education and for business and education partnerships. He understands that these partnerships strengthen communities and he models and promotes these par partnerships as CEO of Sargento and as president of the Sheboygan County Chamber of Commerce. Mr. Gentine and Sargento have supported the Plymouth School District in developing the LTC Plymouth Science and Technology Center and the proposed Plymouth Food Science and Agriculture Center to extensive building and curriculum projects that serve Plymouth Joint School District, the Plymouth community, and the greater Sheboygan area. Additionally, Mr. Gentine has selected business education partnerships as a, changer, as a chamber initiative because as he explains, partnerships between businesses and schools pay, hu pay huge dividends to our growth well into the future. Plymouth School District students, Plymouth Community Education participants, and Lakeshore Technical College students all benefit from Louis Gentine and Sargento's support. All of these groups currently use the LTC Plymouth Science and Technology Center facilities and the proposed <coughs> Food and Science Agriculture Center will create additional opportunities in agriculture, biotechnical engineering, culinary arts, food science, greenhouse production and management, and health and wellness for these same groups. Likewise, Sargento has donated equipment, industry expertise, and opportunities that provide high school career and technical education students with authentic experiences related to agriculture, culinary arts, engineering, food science, and manufacturing. In addition to leading Sargento Foods and the Sheboygan County Chamber of Commerce, Louis Gentine volunteered to serve as co-chair of the Plymouth Education Foundation Capital Campaign for the proposed Food Science and Agriculture Center in 2014. His first year as CEO of Sargento, with his leadership and foundation raised over one million in under six months, guaranteeing, guaranteeing that the Food and Science and Agriculture Center will become a reality for Plymouth students and community members. Even more impressively, approximately one third of donations came from businesses, one third from organizations, and one third from individuals. Evidence of Mr. Gentine's ability to unite varied groups in support of career and technical education and of our community overall. Mr. Gentine actively partners with our students, teachers, and community. He continually seeks and shares additional innovative opportunities, and he models and advocates for creating business education partnerships across Sheboygan County. Please join me in congratulating Louis Gentine. Accepting on Mr. Gentine's behalf tonight is Bill Bartnick, Director of Manufacturing Systems. Thank you. If anybody was expecting Louie to be here, you get me instead. So this is the first time I've, you know, stood in, I guess, Louie's shoes. So I'm going to do the best I can. Louie did work for me for a period of time, and I was smart enough not to, smart enough not to fire him. So <laughs> thank, thank goodness. So I did take some notes because I, I, I want to make sure I say the right things here. So. On, on behalf of Sargento, I really want to thank everybody for the recognition. Um, you know, Louis is, is a really a very humble guy, and the things that were all mentioned that he does, um, you know, he, he does because he just knows it's the right thing to do. So, um, as 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 he learned from his father. So, um, I wanted to give a little perspective on technology within a manufacturing company. And, and a lot of my career was directly in as a plant manager in the Plymouth plant, so I'm a, a little skewed towards the actual manufacturing of products, although technology obviously expands you know, well past that um, into the culinary arts and um, into the egg systems and stuff. So, um, but our philosophy really to design and install technological solutions to improve ergonomic safety, quality, and efficiency really started many years ago. Um, you know, I, I know it started with Leonard Gentine, and, and uh, you know, I did not have the privilege of meeting Leonard. Um, I worked with Lou a lot, and I worked with Louie a lot. The, the recipe for success for Sargento is really four equal parts mixed into a homogeneous solution. I wanted to get a little recipe and homogeneous for the culinary people here, so. <laughs> The, but, but the reality is, 
there's a lot of parts that have to work for a company to, to, to advance technology. First of all, we have to have the leadership. Um, it starts by having a leader who shares the vision of operations. In this case, Lou Gentine really got it going, and of course, he passed that vision on to Louie. Second, and, and as important, is to have a strong engineering department. Um, you really need to have an engineering team that's dedicated to finding, and, and in many cases, creating the best solutions. So our engineering team has gone out and we've, we look for solutions, but, but we actually, in many cases, we come back and, and create something that doesn't even exist today. So we mix technologies to do that. Um, third is the management. Within the facilities, you need to have managers and supervisors who are part of the design process and who ultimately integrate new technology into the day-to-day -day routine. As many can imagine, change is difficult. When we bring technology in, it's difficult for some of the employees. At the end of the day, it makes their job better and they get it, but it, it's a transition, so sometimes change is tough, so you have to have the right people in place. Um, and the fourth, and why I said it's four parts of equal um, you know, mix, is it's what I call the doers. And those are the, the, those that support and sustain the new technology that we need um, on a daily basis. So that would be the operators and the maintenance technicians who have the skills needed to make the technology what I like to call sing and dance. You can bring the stuff in, but if you can't run it well, it really isn't gonna do anything for you. All four steps that I mentioned are dependent on the people that we employ. So I know Wisconsin is blessed with a great K through 16 education system. We all rely on this education system for bright and creative employees. And you know, I was really just stunned by listening to the individual awards and, and your stories, and, and that's what it's all about. So the four things I mentioned early on that we need as a manufacturing company does not happen without the educators. Um, so, you know, I think this is, again, it, it kind of goes around full circle. You know, Louie and, and Sargento does a lot for the school systems, but somewhat selfishly, we need that to advance our technology. So it, it's a, you know, really hand-in-hand -hand type thing, so. Um, Sargento, along with all of the other manufacturers that are represented here in this room, we understand that new technology must be embraced and used to move our businesses forward. However, without the well-trained employees, an investment in technology is really a big mistake. If you don't have the right people to do it, putting technology is actually going to set you backwards. So thankfully, Wisconsin's blessed with, again, the great um, education system. We all rely on this education system for our bright and creative employees. We continue to team up with our schools and invest in our youth um, who really are our future leaders. For some of you know, you three young ladies that are up here, first of all, you're like, at, at the age I was, you're like 10 years past where I was ever at in my career, so congratulations to all of you, you've done a great job. We do employ some nurses in manufacturing, so just keep that in mind. Um, so in, in particular, kind of to wrap it up, um, our, su our success at Sargento would not be possible without the strong relationships we have built with, with LTC, with the Plymouth High School, um, and, and really other, the other area high schools that we, we try to influence and we try to help out. Um, and, and I know that Sargento has a lot of support throughout all the communities that we have um, facilities in and, and within the communities that our employees come from. So um, we really want to thank you and we know that we couldn't do it without your strong support. Um, we really couldn't ask for a stronger, uh, more proactive partnership really with LTC. Um, you guys are great and we, we appreciate the, the ability to work um, hand in hand with you. Um, this does not happen by accident. Um, for LTC, we know like we have to have the great leaders, um, engineers, supervisors, managers, the doers. Um, you have to have the great administrators, educators, and support staff as all the high schools do in the area also. So thank you for all you do um, every day to keep manufacturing strong in Wisconsin. And thank you for this award on Louis' behalf. <laughs>